Hello friends, in this video I am going to write a C program to print inverted pyramid, tri pyramid triangle star pattern. I am using dev C++ so make sure that you have to write the int return type for main function and that's why I am returning 0 here. So in this video I am going to write the program for inverted pyramid triangle star pattern. So for that firstly I will write the whole program, I will show you the output and then after I will let you know the logic behind the inverted pyramid triangle star pattern. So first in the first statement I have to declare few variables and then I have to print f for user input enter number of rows and then after I have to scan the input percent D comma M percent rows then after I have to write here for I equal to 1 I less than equal to rows and I plus plus and inside of it I have to write j equal to 1 j less than i and j plus plus and inside of it I have to write something is which is space then after I have to iterate one more loop for j equal to 1 and j less than equal to here is the formula which is most important for this rows into 2 minus 2 into i minus 1 so this is the formula which we are going to use here and j plus plus and inside of it I have to write star and once the iteration is finished then we have to write printf backslash n that's it so this is the whole program so let me run this and then okay for example I am going to give the input 8 exactly exact uh, the exact output we have got so finally we end up with a solution which is we could able to print the inverted triangle right inverted pyramid so this is the inverted pyramid so firstly I would uh, like to share some things uh, that how I created this so as you know that I have uh, taken the user input uh, in rows variable and uh, there are equal number of rows and columns because of which uh, I have used the common variable rows for rows as well as column so the first loop is uh, going to count number of rows and inside of it we have uh, another loop so these two loops are going to manage the number of columns right so for the first time when uh, and this loop is for managing the spaces which are in the beginning of the stars and the other loop is for man managing the stars which are printed over here so for the first row uh, for j equal to 1 j less than i as you know that j equal to 1 as well as i equal to also 1 so this will never be this will not be true so because of which the for, for, the, for the first time there is no need of space actually uh, so uh, right now the space would not be printed here uh, but here uh, in this loop j equal to 1 and j less than rows into 2 what does it mean for example we have 8 number of rows so 8 into 2 equal to 16 minus 2 into i i equal to 1 2 into 1 minus 1 ultimately 1 so 16 minus 1 equal to 15 so j plus plus so we are going to print star here so means from 1 to 15 uh, actually we are 
able to print 15 stars here right and actually uh, before uh, earlier I explained you that uh, uh, I that there are equal number of rows and columns uh, that doesn't mean that equal number of stars would be printed stars are going to be managed right so here 15 stars are printed and then after in the next row again we are going to iterate from the uh, value of i equal to 2 so here i j equal to 1 and j less than 2 right so for now one space would be printed over here in the second row and then again for the second time uh, this would remain 16 and this would be changed 2 to the 4 minus 1 3 so 16 minus 3 means 3 stars would be reduced all right 16 uh, minus 3 which means 13 so for the first time we could able to uh, print the 15 stars but now we could able to uh, print the uh, uh, 16 stars sorry not uh, 16 13 stars because this is 16 minus 3 equal to 13 so 13 star means two stars are going to be reduced here so again we come to the next line and in this way the whole iteration would be done so finally we would end up with a uh, single star at last and uh, we could able to print the whole uh, pattern which we were expecting before so the name of this is inverted pyramid triangle star pattern and we successfully implemented this and you should also print this in your own system so that you could better understand the logic behind this and even uh, you could able to do the practice well right that thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead